show you a series of images here and you'll probably want to know how I did it once I do show you so what I wanted to do is uh, show you first with these sunglasses here these are polarized sunglasses you can uh, I think I paid like 18 bucks a quick trip for these here but basically if you get the ones they'll have a little sticker on that say polarized <laughs> one of the pairs I had you can see here what's neat about this is polarized microscopically polarized lenses have basically little slits little lines going one way or, or the other and um, this is how 3d glasses work on the, the new style 3d TVs uh, one way you can tell if you do indeed have a pair if uh, you have a hard time seeing your screen with your glasses on and you turn it a certain way I could work and see that little dot down there See that dot? Almost gets to where you can't see it, it blocks it out. So, two lenses together creates a great polarizing filter. And uh, you'll see in the images I'm going to show you how I was able to accomplish this. But I basically take two lenses that are polarized. Check out the sky there. As I turn it, you see how it blacks it out. It's darker until it's almost completely blacked out. So what you can do is look through them until you can get them as dark as possible. Once you get it to that spot, I got mine to a certain area to where I can uh, fit my zoom lens on because I like to zoom in on the on the sun to get close-ups, which I'll show in just a second. The zoom I use clips onto your smartphone. It's right here. Look, cost about a. Uh, I'm going to say I paid at 15 bucks or something at like Walmart. But uh, here, I'll put it on here and show you. Basically, it just clips right on your phone. And it gives you 8 times zoom capability. you got to adjust a little bit. It has its own focus. You can focus it. And a lot of my images I get, I, I use this thing here. Um, what's really cool is like with uh, the smarter phones... You can uh, switch the mode. Hopefully you can see this. This is a Samsung Galaxy 6. I can uh, click the little gear on there and go to Pro Mode. And then it opens up all these uh, extra settings here. From uh, the shutter, the focus, and uh, you can get in here and you can play with them or whatever. Some of those pictures you saw of the uh, chemtrail clouds and they look real colorful. I was able to just close the shutter instead of leaving it on auto. Now what's cool is like this has its own 8 times digital zoom on it. That can be combined with the 8 times zoom of this and you get 16 times zoom. That's how I was able to get uh, some of the really up close moon shots that I've got. Well this camera that you're looking through right now is on auto. But you just get it turned until it's almost completely blocked out. And then you can put it right over your lens. See how I can turn it and adjust the brightness? If you have the ability to uh, put your camera on like a pro mode like I just did there. And then uh, adjust the lighting on that all the way down. The combined reduction of light is how I was able to capture these images you're about to see. And uh, that's pretty much it. That combined with a uh, way well, I'll normally hook the zoom onto the phone like this and then uh, I got a little piece of tape I'll normally put the sunglass lens over the end of it now I'm able to zoom in on the sun without damaging the camera and uh, yeah it works real effectively you might have to adjust the zoom on it here or the uh, focus I'm sorry on it here once you get it all set up but you'll be able to just for uh, Really, if you got an old pair of sunglasses that you can pull apart, these here are actually pretty easy. If you've got an old pair of these, you can, you can pull it, pop out the lens like that. It comes out really easy. And uh, it's got this little hook in there. It hooks in. But, so even if you don't want to buy a new pair and you've got some of these, you might be able to just pop the lens out like I can do with this pair here. And then it pops right back in when you're done. You can continue to wear it. I'm just trying to get everyone ready, especially with all the words going around. 
the sun being artificial, I figure the more people we got, the more people we have that can actually see through some of these chemtrails and get shots of the sun and see what it looks like. Because these look like a big blue ball to me when I look through it. It just totally doesn't look like a sun. It, it should, certainly doesn't look like the Soho footage that you see. Um, and you can get in pretty close and still, uh, if you have a tripod, you can get in 16 times in. You don't see the flames and stuff, but uh, yeah, you can definitely get in close enough that you can observe the sun. It looks like a big smooth blue ball if you actually get these things uh, turned to the point of just not letting hardly any light through at all. But that's pretty much it. Um, this is good information to know, especially with the, uh, with the solar eclipse coming up here. August, I think, end of August. So uh, that's it. Please like and subscribe. I got more coming. I'm just trying to put it all together. And uh, if you click the little notify button, you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.